Well, basically, this is drastically reducing or removing totally the need for a server. So in a primary school, we believe we can totally remove the server. We've got a server in the corner, we don't believe you need it. We've got um, three examples of schools which are either headed that way or have done that way. Okay, so the benefits of serverless schools. So obviously, we're saving money on purchasing and maintaining servers. So with good imaging, so if you use the imaging software there, we believe you can cut your ICT support costs in half. So if you've currently got somebody working full-time or two people working full-time, you can half it because most of the maintenance is on that. If you cut out printing, we reckon you wouldn't need an IT company at all, okay? <laughs> and probably three staff. If you took three staff out and printing, you'd probably find you'd never call an IT firm ever. Anyhow, so the cloud gives a better BYD experience. So cloud-based students can truly work from anywhere on any device. So this is, a, again, if everything's on the cloud, staff can work from anywhere. So any device, anywhere, you can do what you like. Um, so you're not shackled having to run terminal services service to remote into the school at night to do your work. You can just take your device home and it automatically works. SharePoint and OneDrive. So these are two to products from Microsoft. These give familiar office type experience to users. Fully works on PCs, Macs and iPads. The key thing here is you subscribe your school to Office 365, which is free. Every student gets five copies of Office. So that's great for BYOD. A study I read somewhere, I think it's based in the UK, was that um, of all parents that buy BYD devices, 80% don't buy a copy of Office. That's children $29. If you're providing a free copy of Office, there's a perception there for the parents that you're helping subsidize the device. And it's a positive move. They can use that, that Office on all, on all their computers. If they've got one student and four computers at home, they can use it. It doesn't matter. And it's using, again, leaving Office free technology and free software. So basically, in summary, why move to the cloud? You're no longer handcuffed to a server. So your school no longer relies on a single expensive piece of hardware. If your server dies, certainly across the top of the south, we all know how long it takes to get it fixed. As much as HP and IBM will sell you same day business service, we all know that in reality you're down for three or four days. So being up in the cloud, you're not relying on that. It gives you the freedom of mobility, freedom to access your data from anywhere and any device, and it saves you money. You just say goodbye to those one large IT bills. If you've got a server set up, you need to replace your servers every three to four years. With the cloud, once you're in the cloud, it's all free. You're all there, you've paid for the transition. It's all, it's, all, it's all done and it's all dusted. And also the maintenance. If you haven't got the servers, there's nothing for the IT company to maintain, so it's all quite simple. One of the questions the Ministry of Education asks is why do we promote this approach? Because, of course, if you're an IT business, if you're selling cloud to education, it's free. So there's no commission in free. So in the business world, I'll let you into a secret and you get a commission. Okay? If you're not selling a server, well, where's the money? Because you sell a server, there's good money in selling servers. It's one of the only things left. So why, where are you making the money from? And basically, this is a struggle a lot of ICT companies come across. So as Ken pointed out at the start, we've been involved in the cloud since 2012, and um, we've transitioned our business. We've seen the fact that selling servers into schools, into businesses and into schools is not the way you can build your business anymore. Um, Microsoft itself hires us to go and train struggling IT businesses on how to transition their business model. It's all about going from making your money out of selling servers to being a trusted advisor as an expression they use. It's